Hey there guys, I'm Hello Japan, and welcome back to Let's Take a Crack At. In this episode, we'll be taking a crack at L.A. Noir for the PC. So, I was looking to, I was doing some research for this game online before I actually decided to play through it, and I found that this port in particular is kind of buggy, uh, mainly with the 30 FPS cap, which I found a program that removed, but I don't know, you know, what are the problems it's going to cause because of that. So hopefully it's not going to cause much. And also, if you guys saw the Dark Souls 2 special Christmas Day Let's Take a Crack at episode, uh, I mentioned that I'm actually recording that, or I recorded that at my house, my parents' house. And I am, again, at my parents' house for this episode as well. So if there's a little bit more echo as compared to last episode, that's because I actually moved myself to a different room. I'm in our, like, computer room, I guess you could call it. A little bit more echoey in here, so sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna see if I can try and clean up the echoes in post. Uh, maybe I can. I was surprised, you know, how not echoey the first video was. I definitely thought the Dark Souls video was gonna be very, very echoey, but surprisingly it wasn't. So hopefully this won't be that echoey. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with L.A. Noir, it is a crime drama game. Uh, I believe, actually, you know, it was developed by. Some Australian Australian developer that's now defunct, uh, Bandai or Boat Boat, some something like that. <laughs> it's not Bandai, but it's something. It's something along those lines. And yeah, they're now, they're now defunct company. Uh, Rockstar did publish this game, and it feels very similar in control. I, I played the, just like the brief beginning just to see if the game would run okay. Uh, I played just a brief beginning if, with the driving. It feels very, very similar to Grand Theft Auto 4, so it's going to be interesting to see. Um, but yes, again, for those of you just joining me, let's take a crack. It is a series where I sit down for the first hour, play through the game, and if after that hour is done, I let you know what I think of the game, and uh, then we go from there. So, hopefully this little tiny mod I'm using right now doesn't cause too much of an issue. It very well could, but I'm hoping it doesn't. Um, anything else that I want to mention before we continue on? I don't believe so. I think I have my settings set the way I want. Let me just double check here. Uh, it's mainly audio that I want to check. So sound. Dialogue. Okay. Music. Let's actually bump that down a bit. Bump that down to there. And effects. Bump that down. So dialogue is the loudest. Uh, display. Is that where... Subtitles. I just want to make sure subtitles is on. Okay. Oh, yeah, and uh, black and white. This feature isn't necessary uh, because they want to go for the noir look. They give you the option to make the game completely black and white, and I'm actually going to go for that. If you guys don't like it, just let me know. Uh, but I think black and white is actually really, really cool in games. Uh, and if they offer it, I'm definitely, definitely picking it. So... We're going to have black and white, uh, and like I said, if I do decide to come back to this game later on, let me know in the comments if you don't like it, and if you don't, I'll turn it off. <sighs> so there we go. So as soon as I hit new game, we will get started, and I will have one hour with the game, and then I'll let you know what I thought. So I will hit my timer once I hit start, or once I hit new game, so we'll begin right now. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe and not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams, where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. A 
the city of dreamers. A city of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGPL calling car, 14 Adam, 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to... Roger, 14 Adam en route. Okay, so here we are. Welcome to L.A. Noir. Uh, as I said, it is in black and white because I chose to make it black and white. And one thing you noticed, or may have noticed, is that the very beginning of the game when the cutscene started, it was running at 30 FPS. And that's because I'm constantly switching with this mod. I can constantly switch between 30 and 60 FPS on the fly, which is really, really cool because all I do is hit the... Uh, the asterisk key on the number pad here and boom there we are we're in 60 fps and boom there we are we're in 30 fps so if the game gets a little funky i might switch it over to 30 fps but i will render the video out in 60 fps so the parts that are actually captured at 60 frames per second will be at 60 frames per second so let's get going here we go again they don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch ever the optimist from the beam of sunshine himself so that's our, is that our guy right there? Cole? I think, I think that's our guy right there that we're playing as, Cole. His name's Cole. And you know, the game's been out for long enough that so I do know a little bit about the story. Basically, we're working our rank up, or our way up from regular everyday foot policeman to like investigator to detective, or, you know, basically going up the ranks of the police system, which is a pretty cool concept. Very noir <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low light. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got out of here. To be. Happy hunting. Yeah, it is really weird because what they did for this, this game in particular. Hunt. Just going through the motions. You're probably it right. was. Just get it over and done. All right. What they did. <laughs> we'll okay, shut up. up. To the back wall. <laughs> if you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always okay, so better than one. Yes, yes, they are. So what they did with this game is they actually got special capture rigs to capture the people, to capture people's faces, actors, who basically did Look the dialogue for this game. And it looks very Uncanny Valley-ish. It looks really creepy. It, to me, personally. I, I mean, everyone to their own, but it, it's really tracks. weird looking. So am I just following him? Musical chimes, controller vibration, or magnifying glass icons will be used. What have you got, Phelps? Anything? No, nothing yet. I don't think so. Well, how do I... How do I investigate? Jesus. Oh, there we go. Click. Oh, come take a look at this. Hang on, I'm looking at, a, looking at a bottle. Everything here is going to be relevant. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. I tell you, I'm jinxed. 
I always get landed with this crap. <laughs> the mind is the final frontier. Dr. Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes, given the right set of circumstances. Trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hand. Chill. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering. You on. went through a lot together. Yes, Doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance, or your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. What the heck? <laughs> That's kind of morbid. Uh, okay. Sure. Okay, let's put that down. That's kind of cool that we can... No, I'm done here. It's kind of cool that we can actually look at the newspapers and get like a little uh, backstories from it, though. Okay, let's hear some more chimes. Come on, chimes. Mm, that's... I guess that's just music. <laughs> That's not a chime. Whoa! Hey, there's a blood splatter. Yeah, he probably threw it in the dumpster. He had to have thrown it in the dumpster. It's always tossed away in the dumpster when you're done with it. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all yeah, deep I guess on so. the Phelps. <laughs> Okay. So, what about over here? Oh, open notebook. What the balls is that? There we go. Tab. That's a weird way to say tab. I mean, it really is the tab symbol, but like, just write the word tab. <laughs> uh, people. Shooter Peyton. Murder suspect and Detective Floyd. Detective Floyd Rose. Hang on. This chair is broken. <laughs> <laughs> so every once in a while, it will slowly scoot down on itself. Uh, I, mean, I need to get a new chair for this house. Or my parents need to get a new chair. Uh, okay, I guess that doesn't help me much. Murder suspect. Tall Caucasian male, described by witness. So that's very generic. Uh, Detective Floyd Rose. So this is this guy. No, 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 that was the guy that we said, oh, we would help you and you know, get back to you later. Homicide investigator, first on scene of shooting. Okay. Nothing, I guess, suspicious. Nothing suspicious there. He's just there. Got called there first. Um, so let's take a look for a gun. Oh, here we go. Ah, look at that. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm going to see if I can find a way up there. All right. Don't hurt yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead and find ourselves a ladder. Uh, the gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. How about over here? Can I like climb this pole? Yes, I can. <laughs> nice, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, kind of there the it is. Guys think we are. Yeah, I think we're the biggest chumps. 
police work of the 40s. Just pick it up with your hand. <laughs> uh, oh, hang on. Smith there we West. go. Serial. Serial S718. How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? Two rounds okay. fired. Yep. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Okay. So let's put that down. I think that's all we need. We should follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. Found clues will be added to your notebook. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph. Let's see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Cool. Let's go try that then. Because if it's a legitimate gun store, even in the 40s or whenever this took place, they should have uh, they should have cereal on record. Suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout hole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather up drunks and help old ladies across the road. I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Yeah, you do. Whoa, Ralph, calm down, Mister. Okay, so how do I get in the car? F, probably? Click, E. There we go, it's E. So where are we heading? Gun store. Okay, 367 South Central Avenue. Guns and ammunition sales. Okay, cool. I think that'll do it. Wait, do I really, how do I get there? The gun store's up on Central Avenue, Cole. Are we going? Yeah, I have no idea where that is, though. Central Avenue. Really have to find this place? What? Hang on. Is there a map? Hang on. Hang on. Okay, good. Oh, my God. This is, like, legitimate. <laughs> I haven't played a game like this in a long time. Wait, is that it? Gun store. Boom. Place a flag there. Oh, my God. That's insanity. Yeah, I've never played a game where you actually have to map out your location. Like, it doesn't just give it to you. It's actually a nice change of pace, but it's like, jeez, man. Sorry. Can I get in trouble for that? I don't know if I can. Can I? I don't think so. <laughs> well, at least I hope not. You actually slow down like a real old school car, too. Meaning it takes you half a year to slow down. Shut up, dude. I'm driving my own. I think I'm doing pretty well. Oh, shoot. I just looked outside. My parents haven't turned off the Christmas lights yet. <laughs> it's one in the morning. Christmas lights are still on. Okay. Oh, excuse me. I don't want to hit anyone. Ah! I mean, I think this place takes place during the 40s. I don't even know. I mean, are the, the cars don't look like they're any earlier than the 40s. So I, oh, oh, hang on, hang on, I just noticed that it was there, it was there, it was there. Okay, now back up, there we go. Yo. I'm a cop, get out of the way, I'm a cop. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna kill someone. Okay, let's go ahead and park here. 10.39pm. Pretty late night visit. He's gonna know something. He is definitely gonna Go know away. something. You can drive. Uh, what? No. What? <laughs> we're, we're here. Shut up, Cole. Um, no, it's gonna be interesting though because the way this works is that we go investigate someone, and we look. You have to take a. You have to pay attention to their facial expressions, and really hammer into them, if you think they know more than they're letting on. So, it's gonna be interesting if I do well with this. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27 registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? 
Be my guest. This is about something. That was bad, easy. Right? <laughs> that was really easy. Okay, let's just go ahead and open this bad boy. Pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Okay, serial number start with an S. Twenty-seven, twenty-seven. Pearl. Pearl grip. There we go. We're in luck, Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. So it is in the 40s. Thanks, there there we go. go. I was right. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Hey. Thanks, buddy. You were really helpful. Okay. Time to go investigate this in? bad boy. Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. That's true. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, gun okay. good no, you you drive, you drive. I wanna. No, <laughs> dang it! I want you to drive. I don't want. Ah, okay, whatever. Okay, Schroeder's apartment, two hundred three South Glass Street, apartment residence of Errol Schroeder. Let's go ahead and open the map here. Where are we going? We're going over this way. Boom. Okay, time to cross a river, or at least the LA River, which. Eh. <laughs> I guess it's a river. It's kind of a nasty river, isn't it? I mean, I only ever saw it. I didn't really, you know, go down near it. I mean, I, I, can you go down near the LA River? Isn't that a, like, against the law or something? I'm not sure, actually. Oh, I have no idea if uh, going into the LA River is against the law or whatever. Actually, I think I can turn my sirens on. I want to try that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's going to so be hard, really right? annoying. Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of them. Sorry, I didn't mean to crash in your truck. It, you know, I was just playing uh, GTA 5, and I actually went across almost the same you know, identical bridge. Because this is actually the way you take to uh, get to Lester's uh, garment factory. <laughs> or at least a bridge that looks like this. Playing games back to back, man, they have uh, LA as their, as their base. Or, you know, or at least that they're based in, I mean. <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. Yo! It, like, it's weird driving this car because it feels like a real car, which... I don't like feeling when playing a game. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, let's just go this way. Uh, let's go! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Your wage is not mine! Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's not good. Now well, let's see if let's see if our buddy's home. Our criminal mastermind here. Uh so I'm guessing he lives above the shop here. Okay. Hi ma'am. Okay. So let's see. Oh, he lives at two. Schroeder, apartment two. Okay. Well, let's take a peek, Mr. Schroeder. Are you home? So there's one, and then two should be right here. Hello, Schroeder. Three. What? what kind of backward system is this? What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith and Wesson Model 27. Nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Whoa! You ready? That was a very... Oh, cool, man. <laughs> Bring it on, dude. 
Oh, oh it's like a, it's like an old 40s noir film. Got the investigator gonna go beat the crap out of someone. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, ooh, left, right, left, left, right. Hoot, duck and weave. You start. Oh wait, ow, what? Oh <laughs> no. I think we got him. Alright. I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him. I lost my hat. I'm gonna take a look around. I lost my hat, you jerk. Well, I'm assuming he didn't do it, is what I'm thinking, but you know, you can never know. So what is this bad boy? It looks like an uh, like a list of things to do. Artie Rosenberg. Nine four. Okay. 50, 20, 40, 40, 30, 20, 20. Is that like what money that he's owed? I think it's maybe money they owe him. Let's yeah. A series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Fellas, Wait. We can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. <laughs> Leave the book where you found it. No. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. Ah, look at this. Because Rose was the investigator detective, right? I think so. I don't know, that was weird. Interesting. Sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but. Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Whoa, a flashback to uh him getting ready to go to war. I don't know what I don't know what he was going for. OCS, I don't know what that means though. It must be a military division, but I I don't know what it is. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope, or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger KGPL. 14 Adam on route. I can take him. Armed and dangerous. Not a problem. <laughs> I got my two guns right here. Uh, that's, that joke. That joke never goes over well. <laughs> no matter how many times you use it or try to use it, it just never, ever, ever works. Okay, so what we got going on? Oh shoot! Like freaking gangsters. What the? Yo! 
I'll take that. <laughs> Shoot him inside the bank. Oh, do I have to manually reload? Oh, no, there's a couple shots to it. Go, go, go. How do I enter cover? Control? LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering God, that mouse movement is weird. I got you covered, boy. It's like, it's, un it's still really uncanny valley to see it. Very, very strange. Nice. That's it. Okay. I think we got him, Cole. Should I don't be know. You don't. Cool. There we go. Lieutenant Hopkins says, anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Yeah. Thanks, Ralph. <laughs> Thanks, Ralphie. Good old boy. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Mmm, so it's kind of showing that he has a superiority complex. Showing that he wants oh, to be known. Jack Kelsey. Interesting. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, who wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Oh, shoot. We're on a foot race here. Let's go, buddy. Wow. What a jerk. <laughs> How do I jump fence? How do I jump fence? Oh. Come here. How do I tackle him? Do I just click on him? Oh, we got him. Oh, you idiot. What kind of... What? <laughs> what was that? He just ran it into the, into the freaking wall. Oh, he's going to fall, won't he? He's going to fall down. He's going to fall off the roof. Oh, I'm so close to him. Just grab him. Ow, you jerk. You gotta be kidding, you fucking <laughs> boy. He kicked me in the face. Now I'm gonna tackle you. I'm gonna throw you off the roof. No way I'm going back inside. You're the one that jumped her roll. That's your fault. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. <laughs> you screwed yourself by getting caught. Jeez, dude, this is like Prince of Persia. What's going on? Nowhere left to go. <laughs> uh oh. I saw that coming from a mile away. We got the place to ourselves. Come on then. Nice. Boom. Oh, look at that uppercut. That was gnarly. That was a sexy uppercut. Come on. What you doing? What you doing? Uh, 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 uh. Boom! Oh, 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 oh,
Boom! Gut shot. Oh, oh. Yo! Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Boyfriend's not around <laughs> That wasn't even anything. You he just had a nothing. Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? <laughs> Jeez. So now we're going to do another flashback to uh, pre-war time. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership. Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Yo. So there is some bad blood between Kelso. Whenever you're Kelso, I always think of <laughs> that 70s show. <laughs> For every cop. There's the case that makes you, gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Oh! LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. <laughs> well, let's investigate the body first. Oh, oh, there was something on the ground over there. There's a bullet. There's a bullet back there. Everybody, stay back. Let us do our job. All right, let's look at his uh, look at his face. No, or his arm, I guess. <laughs> Anything going on with his arm here? No, it doesn't look like it. No, okay. Doesn't look like there's anything there. How about that? No. I don't see anything. I mean, there's blood there, but it just—he's just a normal dude. What about this arm here? No, no, like. No signs of anything. All right, so his body here. Okay. Oh no! Hang on. Wait. No! Quit! <laughs> quit! Quit grabbing stuff, Cole. Okay. Right here. What do we got? C. Galetta. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. Well, yeah, but you want to see who he, like, what he was and who, like, his possible family and all that stuff. I mean, we have an address now, which is good. Hey, was there anything in here, though? No, okay, there wasn't. Right, let me back out, because there's something in the ground over here I saw. Looked like a bullet. There we go. Yeah, casings. Shell casings. These look like 32s. Okay. Any... Doesn't look like there's any numbers on them or anything. What else do we got? Got anything else around here? Hmm. 
Anything else? But in here. Ah, <laughs> found the gun. That is always helpful. FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. There we go. Since gun stores a couple blocks from here. There we go. So maybe that guy's gonna help this us again. Crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. What guy? Don't you people have anything better to do? Wait, which guy? You? Hi. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. Okay, cool. Hey, that helps. So let's go ahead and check out the shoe store. Before homicide arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. And don't I'm not going to beat anyone. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Okay, let's try it. Well, I'm guessing <laughs> I'm guessing it's the one person in the store. Can I can I help you, sir? Yeah, Officer you can. Phelps, miss, I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Ah, there was the, the thing in his pocket. Ah, eyewitness account. Okay, cool. Get me out of this. Questions are listed on the right, okay? Let me click on stuff. Ah! You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> okay. If you think the witness is lying and you have proof, select a lie to accuse a witness of lying. She's lying. Because when you lie, I remember hearing about this somewhere. When you lie, your eyes dart back and forth like you're thinking. She's lying. You're lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? She's definitely lying. Ali, uh, the voucher, yeah. He, he had something, yep. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop <laughs> the murder. You, you fool. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Hey, that's the truth. Um, let's do this. Possible murder suspect. I mean, because it's probably someone from the jewelry store, I'm guessing, or someone tied to the jewelry store, you know, is associated with either just the owner or something, but I'm, I'm thinking it's probably something along those lines. So let's take a, let's take a look. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Kalu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept 
pulling the ah, trigger. There we go. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Um, I don't know, dude. Oh my god. She doesn't look like she's lying this time. I think I think that's the truth. No, because it just seems so outlandish. Like, why would he start just all of a sudden because he got mad? That makes no sense. No, that's the truth. So this Kalu character put five Sh rounds on Mr. Gage because he badmouthed his products. Yes, something like that. Dang it! Oh, I should have known. It's so easy. Like that was easy. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have picked that. All right, details of shooting. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. I think she did it. Man, she's lying. Get out of here. Don't lie to me. If you keep withholding information, I'm going to take you in for obstruction of justice. I'm trying my best, officer. I've got nothing to hide. What makes you think different? Because you freaking owed her money. Or owed him money. Like, <laughs> come on. Okay, uh, shell casings. Let's talk about that. Five rounds total. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. It's easy to remember. Boom. I was scared, all right? Are you no! Now? I was terrified, and the last thing on my mind was keeping count. <laughs> a man is dead, Miss Galetta, and it's a criminal oh. offense to lie to a police officer. I will take you downtown. Get out. Get out right now. Send in one of the other policemen if you must, but I won't say another word to you. Damn it. Oh, man. Guys. It's, oh, it's hard. This is a hard game. I'm not a good cop. <laughs> good thing I didn't go into police work. We have the murder weapon. And the murder. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. <sighs> I'm still kind of leaning towards her. I don't I don't know though. I mean I really couldn't say if it's her or if it's or if, who it is. Uh let's go to the jewelry no the gun store first, just so we can verify whose gun it is. <clears throat> okay. I'll drive up here and take a right and then turn around. Whoa, that frame rate though. What? Lady, you jumped out in front of me. Come on now. None of that. No need to be so uh so obtuse. <laughs> what? Hang on. Police work. Official police business. Move, move, move. Everyone get out of the way. <laughs> Officer of the law coming through. How far away is this place? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. That wasn't me. I didn't do that. Oh no. <laughs> I obliterated that car. It's a good thing they don't deduct points from me for doing that. At least it doesn't seem like they do. Wait, where am I? What? There we go. Okay, back to the gun store. Hopefully this guy is, uh, wait. Is this a different guy? This might be a different guy. Officers, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. 
Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Callu. Edgar Callu was his name. Thing looks like there it never we go. been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. And he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Callu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. And there we go. So at least we know it is definitely his gun. And that's what I'd like to verify. I would, write, I would like to verify whose weapon it is before I actually go and say, Hey, you killed him! Because I remember doing that way too many times <laughs> in, uh... In, uh, whatchamacallit? Hang on, I'll go back. Uh, doing that way too many times in The Wolf Among Us, accusing people and then <laughs> being wrong. So, <laughs> let's let's not do that. Excuse me. Hey, police business! <laughs> oh, we're almost there now. Oh, hit the brakes, the brakes turn! Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna kill someone someday. Here we go. Okay, jewelry store, here we are. Oh, well, Mr. Kalu. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Not today, Officer Mr. Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He's Man, you're lying. Him. I'll buzz him for you. You're lying. He's running away. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! What a lying jerk. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> What a kind guy. Hurry, officer, he's getting away. Officer! Hello, get back here! Come here. I don't want to shoot him. Can I pop him in the leg once? Dang it. People! <laughs> don't! Oh no, which one was him? Too late, Kalu! What? Oh, I can't hurt him? Oh. <laughs> I would make a terrible Mr. police Cole officer. Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Yes, I would make a terrible, terrible police officer. Son of a bitch. Go, Cole, go! Okay, so if I can't if I can't shoot him, what am I supposed to do? Do I just keep running until I can tackle him? Hello, get back here! Lock him up and throw away the key. Or do I just literally aim the gun at him to get him to? Nah, hang on, I have to get a straightaway here. Give me a straightaway! Wow, you jerk! Too late, Kalu. Dang it! Ah! <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Straight away, straight away. Thank you. Stop or I will shoot. Everybody run. Whoa. <laughs> Everybody run. Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> the case that makes you in the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. 
Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Well, here we go. I'm going to be a terrible, terrible police officer. Let's see how this happens. Let's see how this works out for me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Argument with Gage. Here we go. That's all I have you to go on right now. Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. It had everything to do with you. What a liar. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh my god. Uh, use intuition. You're lying. Look at, get out you of here. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Dude, your 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 shells were there, and your gun. Hang on, we're we're doing the gun first. Okay, boom, gun first, you easy. Nothing, boy chick. What? You're gonna be laughed right out of court. Oh shoot! I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done, unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. <laughs> oh come you on! You disappoint me, cold folks. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! I don't like him. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. Okay, so it's just cycling patient. again. Okay. Okay, argument. You followed so. Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Okay, so he's lying. Careful use of intuition can lead to breakthroughs in interviews, interrogations. So let's use intuition. I want to see what that's like. Careful use of intuition can lead to breakthroughs. In, okay. 99.2% of players choose the correct answer after using an intuition point on their question. Well, yeah, I kind of knew it's a lie. You shot Gage. Okay. I don't know why. Whatever. <laughs> can put you in the scene. You At least I wanted to try anything. it. Oh, yeah. So it's not the shooting. Not the shells. It's not the gun. Positively identified. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Ooh, there we go. Possible religious motive. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going, motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Cullen. <laughs> this is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Cullen. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Cullen? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what a lie. <laughs> you're lying, Cullen. I think you lent Gage money. He owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Layaway voucher. There we go. Boom. Hang on. Click it. I'm done with you. Go what? flap your gum somewhere else. I want my lawyer. <sighs> I've just got to keep my mouth shut 
and watch you run around in circles. Oh, I have to do this again. Unless you want to keep making a schmuck of yourself. Uh, <laughs> he's just, I'm going to yell that again. You disappoint me, Cole. <laughs> Can I skip this? Get back in there and raise some love, boy! <laughs> I need a <laughs> I can't skip it. How do I skip? There is a way to skip. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Alright. Maybe the third time's a charm. So, As we know the correct way to go with the first lawyer. one. A lawyer can't but tell the second one, not so much. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. It's like, it's like, uh, what's it called? You uh, followed Everett Gage. And the girl back to the <laughs> It's like a Groundhog Day. Five rounds <laughs> it's again and again and again and again. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Dude, it had everything to do with you. I was trying <laughs> that face though. He knows, man. He knows he's caught. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Okay, suspect. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Okay, possibly religious change motive the again. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, again. Oh, intuition. Wait, I want to double check. Just to be safe, right? Yeah, just to be safe. Just to be safe. Oh, it's not a lie. Oh, he's cocky. It's the truth. What? Gage was a Jew hater. Get it off your chest. Gage and his kind are pathetic. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. I don't even, what does Unless doubt even mean? I don't know what that means. Doubt. Yeah, I doubt that. It's, it's the same. <laughs> Same thing get as not believing. Uh, <laughs> okay, fourth time's a charm. Let's do it. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna keep going until we hit another. Uh, what you call it? Another cutscene. So this is gonna be a longer episode than usual. We shot a man dead in cold. We're, we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna do this one right here. We're gonna finish this. So boom or boom. There we go. Followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. That was a lie. <laughs> now I'm curious. If I use, can I use intuition You're again? Gage, and we know why. And we possibly eliminate one of the other answers anything. from the second one. Actually, I don't think I can. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're you're counting on the Actually, girl? no, I did eliminate it. So if I hit true, in court, you're going to it, it's doubt. Duh. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me oh, alone. There's my timer. Like I said, we're going to keep going. We're powering through. We're powering through, guys. We're going to do this. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject. You're going, motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Doubt. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir.
Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Heck yeah! Woo! That's what I'm talking about! He's strutting now. Oh, I'm gonna be a uh, higher up. Police Academy! Hey, that's a good way to end it. Oh, look at that! Perfect, man! Patrol complete. Los Angeles Police Department. Result. Passed. Cool! We'll see what happens now, then I'll call it quits for this episode. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. Oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. <laughs> oh, her hair's changing. What? And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. Uh, if it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. I wanna make homicide. You know you made it. Well, there we go, guys. That was a uh, let's take a crack. At L.A. Noir, I liked it. It was a lot of fun. Um, really would I do a let's quick, play? I don't know. On patrol before I got this test. I don't know if I would or not. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Mouthpiece or strips off. Right, hang on. Let me let me just let's just pause it here. Yeah, I mean it was fun. Um, I mean I could see how it would be a really fun game to do a let's play of, but I, I this seems to me like it'd be a game that would work really 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 well with live streaming live streaming seemed to, would seem to fit this game perfectly personally i think it would fit it really perfectly um but maybe i'll get back to this game at some point again no guarantees this is one of the games i bought for like five bucks or whatever it was during the steam sale this year so i didn't really wasn't planning on you know playing too much of it other than just this episode here um but yeah let me know what you think of the games uh well let me know what you think of the game if you've played it well, you know, did you enjoy your experience with it? And uh, if you 
Have not played it. What did you think of this, uh, the gameplay here? I would like to know. Well, anyway, I know it's been a little bit longer episode than usual, but uh, the game, the game quite, yeah, the game, the game deserved it. And I, and I really wanted to bust that guy at the very end there. I really wanted to get him. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. I've been Hello Japan. This has been LA Noir. And I liked it. Yeah, I really did like it. I'll see you guys next time with whatever I make. See ya. I made the grand jury case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. I don't matter. We're not building this city anymore. Very much. Canary says I'll sing, but only if I guarantee he walks.